Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about slip angles. And slip angles are a very important piece of tire dynamics, but they're not all that often discussed. So let's talk about exactly what slip angles are. Uh, now very simply put, a slip angle of a wheel and tire is basically the difference between uh, the direction the tire is rolling and the direction the wheel is pointed. So here we have a car with four wheels uh, and it's going around a left hand turn and this is basically a zoomed in view of one of these tires. We can just say this one in the top left. Uh, but basically you can see there's deformation of the tire path as you roll along and you have a lateral load as you're going around a corner. So because uh, rubber is elastic and you place a lateral load on this vehicle, you're going to have deformation of that rubber and so your contact patch isn't going to be facing the exact same direction as the rest of the tire which isn't experiencing friction. So what we have here is you can see that uh, the tire path and it gets distorted as it comes down to the contact patch and so that's pointing at one angle and then you have the path that the wheel is traveling and so the difference there that angle is the slip angle. Uh, so here you can see on a vehicle that's taking that left hand turn uh, in blue I've drawn basically the path of the contact patch and then in red you can see this slip angle, uh, the front and the rear. So the wheels are pointed this direction, the front of the car is this direction, and then the slip angle is somewhere you know, in between that uh, for these front tires. And then for the rear tires, the slip angle is you know, going to be pointed out, uh, the contact patch is going to be pointed a little bit outside of the direction the car is pointed. So the actual uh, definition is basically this arrow right here is, con is tangent to the arc that the contact patch is traveling along. So this is actually a curve right here. Uh, and if you follow that curve and then you draw a line tangent to it, that's how you can uh, get the exact slip angle. Okay, so who cares? Why does any of this matter? Well, it actually explains a lot about understeer and oversteer, uh, and it's kind of how you define these terms. A car that has a larger front slip angle than a rear slip angle will be understeering. Vice versa, if the rear slip angle is larger than the front, the car is oversteering. And then if they're equal, the car will handle neutrally and go about the corner without understeer or oversteer. Now it also uh, plays a role in frictional capacity. So as you change your slip angle, your coefficient of friction changes as well. And there's some peak range, which is where you want to keep it for a maximum lateral load. So for this tire that I've drawn, and this will be different, of course, for every tire, depending on its characteristics. Uh, but the typical range for, you know, for a street tire is going to be somewhere around 10% slip. Uh, you're going to have this peak friction and it could be a little bit more. It could be a little bit less. Uh, but that's where you're going to get that highest lateral load with uh, knowing where that slip angle is. So it is a very important thing in understanding tire dynamics. Uh, and I'm going to have a few future videos that will kind of relate back to this. So I just wanted to make sure we had a good understanding of slip angle before doing that. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.